My name is Josh Richards. I'm here with Songs My Brothers Taught Me, just showing in Director's Fortnite. Well, the look, a lot of things dictated the look of the film. Um, a lot of limitations dictated the look of the film, which and limitations are our friend. But Chloe, I think the most important thing was Chloe wanted to tell the story from the inside out. And um, by that I mean there was, it didn't seem right to us that it'd be shot on long lenses from a distance. You know, we wanted the audience to really feel they were in this story with these characters in this very unique place. And it's, you know, it's a story about faces. Um, so I wanted to, you know, I wanted to, I don't believe in a close-up should necessarily be on a long lens. I wanted to, we often use wide-angle lenses and be very close to the actors who were wonderful and allowed, allowed us to do that. Um, also, I, well, I think this film is a perfect uh, example of what the Alexa is capable of in this kind of situation. And, um, you know, we were shooting, uh, once again, non-actors, um, Chloe, uh, she wanted to move uh, very quickly, um, very few takes, um, and in so many different kinds of terrain and so many different lighting situations. And um, I don't, I can't think of, I can't think of any other way this movie could be made and achieve images that are still cinematic and uh, a higher end than than on the Alexa, honestly. Yeah, although I personally, I don't mind uh, bumping it to 600 in the, some of the, the night scenes. Um, I, I enjoy the grain on the Alexa. And you can see there's scenes in the movie that is quite rough and raw. Um, but it kind of suits, you know, my background's in like 16 and I think the, I think the Alexa, you know, it's sort of, um, it's made with the same kind of principles. It's the, the, the movie is all available light, actually. Um, we had a very tight crew on this one. Um, there was a script before uh, that we were, you know, we were planning um, a much bigger shoot. But, you know, filmmaking's like that and um, some things fell through and some things changed. So we decided to make a movie. Um, I mean, I think, I think also what I wanted to say was that the, I think the DP's job along with helping achieve the director's vision is to help support how the director wants to work. And Chloe, you know, working with non-actors, moving super quickly, um, she was great to work with because she would set up, I think like my favorite directors, she would set up an environment and then she would put the camera into that environment, which meant lighting in a much more general way um, so the actors were free to move, and the camera was also free to move. You know, there's a lot of there's a lot of freedom for me on this picture, and it's certainly not what I'm, I'm used to either. But um, I found the film um, I found it quite humbling because I it was it was sort of taking the rule book, the things that you know, the things that cinematographers tend to fall back on, and you know, oh, but can't I can't I backlight them more and and, and Chloe just, she was going for like the, always the truth of the situation, always um, trying to catch her, catch her life as it happened. Um, and so a lot of my <laughs> tropes and, and gimmicks that I would normally use as a cinematographer went out the window in, in, um, in order to capture things that were more natural and, and true. You know, I think, yeah. And I think it's a really exciting way to work actually, you know.